This 46-year-old housewife demonstrates a classic picture of upper and lower motor neuron disease. Her nephew had died of ALS. Eleven months before this picture was made, she noted progressive weakness of the tongue and dysarthria. This was followed by weakness and wasting in the extremities and spasticity of her gait. Asymmetrical hyperreflexia in the upper extremities is noted. In the lower extremities, hyperreflexia is demonstrated. Ankle clonus is present. The Babinski sign indicates pyramidal tract involvement. Sucking reflex indicates cortical bulbar involvement of pseudobulbar palsy. Note the marked atrophy of the intrinsic muscles of the hands, which results from anterior horn cell degeneration. Atrophy tongue, particularly severe on the right side, is evidence of progressive bulbar palsy. Emaciated and helpless, her intellect, sensation, and sphincter control remain normal. The musculature of the hands is severely affected, and her hands are practically useless. Her tongue is atrophied and cannot be protruded. Speech is unintelligible. This patient has progressive muscular atrophy, the essential component of motor neuron disease. Weakness in the left lower extremity was noticed 31 months before. The other extremities were successively affected. He is able to raise a cigarette to his lips with either hand. Involvement of muscles of respiration, speech or swallowing has not been noted. With further muscle wasting, the patient is unable to stand or walk. There is moderate to marked involvement of all skeletal musculature. He now has more difficulty raising his hand. The muscle wasting is so severe that these reflexes cannot be elicited. The Babinski sign is difficult to evaluate since atrophy of the leg muscles may mask an extensive response. There is now evidence of further progression and he barely manages to raise his arm. Now bedridden and helpless, the patient has early dysarthria and dysphagia of progressive bulbar palsy. This 42-year-old patient also shows the flail arm in conjunction with an abnormal gait. Severe weakness of his neck muscles has developed. If his head falls forward, he must exert enormous effort to raise it. Another patient with similar disability strangled at home when her head slipped off the side of the bed. Rather gross muscle fasciculations are noted in his right arm. This 56-year-old farmer has an extensive family history of ALS. Bulbar symptoms and muscle weakness developed one year before. He demonstrates widespread muscle fasciculations, which are seen in most patients with ALS. However, in the absence of weakness or atrophy, 
Muscle fasciculations do not necessarily signify neurologic disease. This 42-year-old man with obvious wasting of the muscles of his hands is also included to demonstrate muscle fasciculations. 